Jack, you sent me a triplex in Cleveland. Let's go through it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, folks. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you're new to our videos, you're new to what we do, this particular show, we have a bunch of different shows, but this show in particular, what this is, is this is you, you rather, and me working together one-on-one. -on -one. You're working with me and my team one-on-one -on -one to try to build, start, or grow your real estate portfolios. And uh, new guy, new client of mine, his name is Jack. Jack, you had uh, purchased an analysis, one property. You're very interested in this property. And uh, you wanted my thoughts on it, so let's pull it up. All right, this is the house, 1414 East 110th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44106. On the market for 119000 It is currently showing that it's contingent, meaning it's under contract. Now, according to your email with me, you had been in contact uh, with the listing agent. You had talked to them. Uh, you got the market rental rate, 650 to 700. So I don't know if this is under contract with you, if you put it under contract with the listing agent, or if this went under contract with another buyer. Now, if it is under contract with another buyer, uh, you know, that's that's contingent, right? The, the dust hasn't settled. These deals come back on the market quite a bit. But at the moment, uh, the only thing you'd be able to do is send in a backup offer if you're not the guy that put it under contract. It's a little unclear in your email, but <clears throat> Neither here nor there, because what I really want to talk to you about is your strategy, you getting started in this business, because a lot of the things you had said to me, uh, essentially you were concerned with the market, you were concerned with the neighborhood quality. Uh, you know, you heard that uh, this is possibly a good area close to schools, but you see a lot of blight, a lot of rough stuff, you know, the ghetto around it. So you're a little nervous with that, and this would be your first time investment. So I wanted to talk to you about all that. But before we do that, dude, let's just let's cruise through the property, right? Let's take a look at what we got. So it's a nice, uh, nice looking duplex here. Well, it's actually a triplex, right? They converted the third floor, and uh, it's been recently renovated. All right, showing you some uh, drone shots and the the rest Renovation looks pretty nice, okay? We got uh, neutral colors throughout. Personally, when people do new renos, I think this look right here, this is a couple years out of date. Uh, I like to see agreeable gray. The cream look was about five years ago, but hey, that is like not like a negative we really need to worry about. This will definitely do. From a renovation standpoint, it is absolutely rent ready, and it's, uh, you know, it's going to look... Uh, and perform fine from a cosmetic standpoint of the units, right? So I'm not trying to harp on the seller for what they did to the units. I would have done it a little different myself, but this will definitely suffice. We got three separate electric panels, which is great. Cruise the yellow too quickly. Uh, this furnace, that appears to be fairly new. I would guess that's five years old or newer. Next furnace, same deal. Looks pretty good. Three hot water tanks, probably a few years old. Uh, we got some new porches. And a roof looks pretty good, too. So the property itself uh, looks pretty decent. As for the price, $119,000. All right. All three of the units are three bed, one bath. So uh, for units like that, seven fifty dollars would be a fair uh, rental estimate. Okay, that would be totally fair. So with the price point of $119,000 and the fact that you can get three units paying approximately $750 a month, uh, that's great. That would work out good. If we were to run the numbers, uh, this would project a very high cash-on-cash -cash return. It would project a high cap rate. All would be good in the hood. Uh, but we're not going to do that because one of your questions to me was you're concerned. Like, you're concerned about the neighborhood and the blight and, like, you know, how collectible is that rent? And in my opinion, I don't think it's very collectible, dude. I can't, like, stand here. Because when I do these shows, right, you know, if, I'm sure you've seen several of them. I, I break down the rent that's coming in. But that's just the beginning, right? The rent that comes in is just the beginning. You can't base your investment on the rent that comes in. You need to base your investment on what you think you could collect. And uh, collecting 
rent over here, I can't really give you uh, a reasonable estimate of like how much vacancy and non-payment we're going to deal with because this is just an incredibly blighted neighborhood. Now, they did a really good job on the reno, right? Again, I would have done a few things a little different, but as far as the neighborhood goes, I think for this price point, man, I, I don't think it makes any sense to spend that kind of money in this particular neighborhood. Now, when you're doing uh, an analysis, right, it, it's always best to pull up your Google Earth, right? So this is our property. We got a $120,000 property. And if you were to punch out Street View, okay, you'd probably be fairly impressed with what you see because all up and down the street, we just have a bunch of multifamily properties. Not looking too bad. We have one vacant home here and another vacant lot rather here and another one over here. But all told, it looks pretty decent. But what you have to understand is all you got to do is go right here, dude. And the whole street is just all blight, all destroyed. Vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, two houses, two vacant lots, going up to the, the one above it, right? So if you were to just, you know, your tenants were to walk out of the house and then go up this way, they, they cruise over here, right? We got vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, one house, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot. So right here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parcels, seven parcels right here. And we only have one house that is still standing. That is like you know, number one that shows you just how blighted a home is. And then the second thing, too, we could look at some historical data, which uh, makes me, you know, really think you'd be drastically overpaying for this asset. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm pulling up the sales history of this particular home. Now, in general, I don't necessarily like to look at what the sellers paid uh, for a particular property when developing an offer because, you know, a house is not necessarily worth, uh, you know, a lot of times I guess buyers try to back into their offer. They're like, oh, well, the seller paid 100000 so I'm going to offer him 120 because he'll still make twenty grand, so he'll probably take that. You shouldn't do that. You can't really do that. You can't back into your offer that way. You have to base your offer on what the property is currently worth, right? There's other investors out there that are good at acquiring property below market value, things of that nature. So that's why I like to shy away from doing that. But here... The data is just going to support uh, my 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 reasoning to you and my advice to you that you know this property currently is not actually worth that price point, right? So if we go down, 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 down here, and this shows us when the property was last purchased. All right. Now, check this out, bro. This property was just purchased last year for. $12,000, dude, $12,000. That right there tells you how blighted the neighborhood is. You could pick this sucker up for $12,000. And then prior to that, dude, 2007, the height. That was when the real estate markets were at the very top. That is before everything crashed, right? 13 years ago, that was the top, and the sucker only sold for 10, right? So it's worth 10 back at the height. You know, then we went through our crash. Now we're back at another high point in the market, and it's worth 12 right there, dude. And, uh, you know, these are things that you got to look at, right? That's just like how low value this particular neighborhood is. So for you being a brand new guy and, uh, you know, putting 120 k on the table into something like this, I don't think it's the smart move, dude. I think you will be at an extreme risk of drastically overpaying and then as far as the collectability dude very very tough man these neighborhoods are super tough now one thing too that i think you'll see is a lot of people like listing agents they would probably market this to you as good for college students and that is something you mentioned to me in your email because right here is university circle okay this is a great little neighborhood okay this is great. But you got to understand, the thing with University Circle, it has its own police force. It's got, you know, its own things. It's got its own tax rate. If you're in University Circle, yeah, dude, you're going to get college kids. You're going to have a nice neighborhood. It's safe. Everything is great. But where you are, bro, you're just in the fucking ghetto. Like, that is just straight up the ghetto. This is the ghetto. This is the ghetto. This is the ghetto. This is the ghetto. Basically, everything all up in here is pretty much the ghetto. Yes, this is good, but you're not here. This ain't you, dude. You're here. You're in the ghetto, right? You walk down the street. 
there's vacant lots. There's people selling homes for 10K, 12K, right? So don't uh, try to think that you're getting this experience when you're up here because you're not. And as far as collecting that rent, man, it's just because you ain't getting them college kids, dude. You're just getting, you know, it's tough, dude. You're The people that live in these really blighted areas are typically the only people. They're only living there because they can't really live anywhere else, right? Because, you know, other landlords with more desirable real estate are denying them. Perhaps they are violent felons, right? I'm talking rapists, murderers, right? Those people, you know, when you rape someone and you do 20 years in jail, you know, say you rape someone when you're 20, 25, right? And you do your 20 years in jail. Well, you get out of jail, you're 45 years old, right? You're still going to live for probably another 30 or so years. Well, where do you guys think people like that live, right? They live in the roughest and toughest neighborhoods uh, that we have. So, you know, those are the types of people that you're probably going to have to be dealing with, man. And, you know, you do 20 years in uh, jail, you know, for a violent crime, right? Your job prospects are very low. You're obviously very difficult to work with. You're dangerous, uh, you know, things of that nature. So it's just the risk is great. I don't see a, a potential payoff here. So if I were you, I would not look into doing this deal. As far as some of your other questions, by the way, on uh, property management and how things like that work, Holton Wise, we are able to take care of all that stuff for you, dude. So the first thing I'd, I'd advise you to check out, you go to our FAC and then you go to our property management FAC. We will walk you through the entire process, starting with the buying process. Up here is a digital copy of our property management agreement. It goes over all of our fees, everything we do. We are a one-stop shop, right? So you can order a video, you can have us find you properties, and we'll find you properties that fit what we think makes sense for you based on your wants, needs, and goals. And we'll walk you through the whole thing. We'll be able to insure your property. We'll be able to set you up with a quality title company so you get no clouds on title, no issues like that. And like I said, man, all the fees are up there. And then we walk you through the buying process. We walk you through the leasing process, the whole shebang. So for you, Jack, if you're trying to start your portfolio in Cleveland, I don't think this is the move. I would... Uh, read that fact, and then if I were you, if I'm ready to get started, I would probably cruise on over here, and you got a couple options, brother. Uh, the first option would be the Investment Properties for Sale Show. That's free. You don't have to pay for that, okay? Just check that out. Subscribe to the mailing list every day at 1 o'clock. We'll email you properties we're selling. We're going to put in there video tours, and I break it down honestly, dude. I'll give you the level of risk, okay, of the particular neighborhood, and you could just bid right off of there and then if you already read the fact you know the game you know what we're going to do after the fact so it's pretty simple if you want to get more hands-on more involved uh something like this you know a longer working relationship dude you can go to the mls search analysis show which we've already been you picked up the the one property package i would highly recommend getting the 10 property package if you want to give me a little bit more information on exactly what you're looking for and you just want to put me to work finding things that i think will make sense for you what you have here is an F-class property, right? And I don't think that, that should work for you. Based on uh, what you're giving me right now, I think you want to be C or better. So there's that option. But again, on the Investment Properties for Sale show, bro, we will explain to you what level uh, of risk is in that neighborhood. And then lastly, dude, you can click here for the MLS access. Uh, and you can kind of work on your own, right? Because I've already broken it down for you, dude. A class, single, multi-commercial, then it goes down to B and C, etc. So you don't have to worry about uh, looking on Zillow or Realtor.com or Truly or whatever, looking at a property, seeing that it's freshly renovated, seeing that people are saying it should rent for $750, and uh, seeing that it's close to a college, and then realizing at the end of the day, oh, shit, dude, it's actually still an F-class neighborhood. It's still the heart of the ghetto. I'm going to be probably working with you know very difficult tenant base, right? Violent felons, drug addicts, prostitutes, right? Transients. It's very, very tough, right? You need to know uh, the tenant base you're going to be dealing with. That's incredibly important, right? Because, like, there ain't no prop. Everybody thinks, like, oh, if you buy a property in a really rough neighborhood, dude, you just have to have a strong property management team. What in the fuck is that supposed to be in a strong property management team? I, I would say that I probably got the strongest property management team in the Cleveland market because I've sold over $200 million of rental properties, and we have the biggest scattered site, uh, scattered site, rental, per scattered site, rental portfolio in the Cleveland market. Couldn't get that out, bro. So I'd say we're the strongest. But, dude, you, you buy a property in a certain neighborhood, 
there's still only going to be a certain amount of people that are going to want to live there, right? If you are, you know, just like a regular person, a nice little job, you got a family, got a couple little kids, why would you move your family into a really blighted area where all the neighborhoods have, you know, a lot of the neighbors have criminal records, right? You probably wouldn't. Only people that can't move into anywhere else or denied other housing are going to move into those really rough and tough neighborhoods, right? So strong property management doesn't change who's attracted to your property, dude. The neighborhood is what it's going to determine who's going to come live in your house, right? So there ain't no property management company in the world uh, that's going to be able to change the performance of a highly blighted uh, neighborhood, right? It's just not fucking possible. Anybody telling you that it is is fucking lying to you or they haven't been in the game long enough to know what they're talking about. So you could easily pick up the real-time MLS feeds where we've already pre-sorted them and already gave them a grade based on risk assessment, and you could go from there. So that's uh, some of the options I, I want to see you do, brother. And if you are the guy that's under contract on this particular triplex, I think you should exercise your due diligence right to exit that contract because I don't think it's a smart move for a brand-new real estate investor. Neighborhoods like that to make money, in super rough, tough neighborhoods, dude. You got to be a local landlord. You got to be a do-it-yourself landlord. You got to be a savage, man. You got you to gotta be tough. And you probably need to own your own contracting crew. Because here's the thing, too, that uh, people think, right? Bad tenants, tough tenants, they lose their jobs, yada, yada. Well, what happens when you're in those really rough neighborhoods? They lose their jobs. You got to pay all the money to a victim. They probably trash the place before they leave. And then the home is vacant, okay? Well, when you have a vacant home in a blighted neighborhood like that, dude, everybody else on the street immediately pillages the fucking house, dude. I'm talking they steal all the copper. They steal the hot water tanks. They steal the furnaces. They trash the whole fucking thing. They put holes in the walls. Steal the Romex, dude. They steal everything. I've even seen them steal gutters and aluminum siding in those neighborhoods, right? So anytime your property goes vacant, which is very going to be very often because you're always evicting people because they ain't paying rent, Dude, your whole home is just like, it's a target, right? Because you got some tough people living there, right? So an out-of-state guy just getting started in the game, having to pay full-service property management. Dude, you're going to get eaten alive on this house, bro. So I, I don't think it's the move for you. I think you should take one of the three steps I mentioned, right? Whether it be the Investment Properties for Sales show, doing a larger package with me, or cruising the MLS with my feeds that I've provided to you where I've already pre-sorted it down and you should probably stick to C and above for you. Other folks who are watching this stuff, if you're local to Cleveland and you want to try to get in on the cheapest real estate, you know, neighborhoods like this would make sense, but I still think the property itself is overpriced for the neighborhood, right? I'm not even saying money can't be made by a local in an F-class neighborhood. I'm not necessarily saying that, but what I am saying is you don't buy a $120,000 triplex in an F-class neighborhood. That's all I've got for you guys today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise. And this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. 
U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.